Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Biological Concept. In today's video, we will discuss on leptospirosis, a genetic disease. So let's start. Leptospirosis is a genetic disease that is a disease or infection that is transmitted from vertebrate animals to humans. Here the vertebrate animals are rats, dogs, rodents, other farm animals. Later we will discuss. And this disease is caused by Leptospira interrogans, a bacterium. One can get infected with Leptospira through abrasion or cuts in your skin or through your eyes, nose or mouth. The severe form of Leptospirosis is known as Wills disease. And the incubation period of this disease is 5 to 14 days with a range of 2 to 30 days. The epidemiology. It is most common in tropical areas and warmer climates with lots of rainfall each year. The disease is most commonly found in India, Brazil and Thailand. In India, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andaman show highest incidence. Due to this, it is also referred to as Andaman hemorrhagic fever. More than 1 million people worldwide get leptospirosis each year. Almost 60,000 of these die from it. So, we have to know about this disease. Okay. Now the host, agent and environment. What is the host, agent and environment of this disease? The host is human and animal. The animals are rats, dogs, horses, pigs or cows. As we have already discussed that this disease is a genetic disease. That is the disease that is transmitted from vertebrate animals to humans. Here the vertebrate animals are rats, dogs, horses, pigs or cows. Next is the agent. And the agent here is Leptospira interrogans. It is a bacteria. Later we will discuss on this bacterium. Okay. And the environment here is the water or soil that is contaminated with animal pee that is animal urine. And the vector does not play a role for this disease transmission. So, it is not a vector-borne disease. Okay. Now, this is the image of a leptospira interrogans under the electron micrograph. We show that it is shaped like a cross screw. It is a gram-negative spirochete bacteria. It is obligate anaerobe. And it's shaped like a crotch cube with hooked and spiral ends. We have already shown in the image. And it contains over 200 pathogenic serovars. Now the symptoms. Some people have flu-like symptoms of leptospirosis. And some have no symptoms at all. In severe cases of leptospirosis, you have symptoms of internal bleeding and organ damage. In acute leptospirosis, symptoms come on suddenly. That includes high fever, red eyes that is conjunctival infection. Other symptoms are headache, chills, muscle ache, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, yellow skin or eyes that is jaundice. It is an important symptom of this disease. Another symptom is also rash. In severe leptospirosis, we have already discussed that the severe leptospirosis is known as Wills disease or ill syndrome and the symptoms may start 3 to 10 days later and that include coughing up blood, chest pain, trouble breathing, severe yelling of your skin or eyes, black or dairy poop, blood in your pee that is immaturia, decrease in the amount of pee that is urination, blood red spots on your skin. That look like a rash. The transmission. How this disease is transmitted? Leptospirosis is usually spread to humans 
from animal pee containing a bacteria Leptospira. Almost any mammals like raw, rat, dog, horses, pigs or cows can get leptospirosis. They may have few or no symptoms of illness. Okay. Animals with leptospirosis can contaminate water or dirt which spreads the bacteria to other animals or humans. And you can get leptospirosis from directly touching the pee or other fluids from an animal with leptospirosis. So you must be cautious because the animal which get leptospirosis may have few or no symptoms of illness. Okay, so during animal handling you must be cautious. Okay, getting contaminated water or soil in your eyes, nose, mouth or in a break in your skin. A lot of people can get leptospirosis at once in outbreak. After heavy rains or flooding. After heavy rains and flooding, uh, uh, several kinds of outbreak occur, diarrheal outbreak, other break. Among them, leptospirosis one is other kind of outbreak that may uh, occur after the heavy rains or flooding. The flood water wash into the river, lakes, canals, bringing bacteria with them. Recreational freshwater activities, especially ones that put you in contact with contaminated water for long periods of time, put you at increased risk. This includes activities that put your head under water or cause you to swallow the water. For instance, white water rafting, swimming and boating. Your risk is even greater after heavy rainfall or flooding. There, because there is a mixing, during this period there is a mixing of contaminated water. Okay. Now, how one can diagnose this disease? For diagnosis of a disease, sample collection is a very important step. And sample collection is very necessary. And for which disease, which sample should be collected, one must know. For diagnosis of this leptospirosis, sample is blood sample and other sample is urine sample. And not only that, that for which disease, which sample should be collected, it is also important to know that, that this sample should be collected at what stage of the disease. In case of blood sample, one should collect for the first week of onwards from the onset of the disease whereas in case of urine sample one should collect it for the second week onwards and uh, this uh, bacteria can be seen under the dark film microscopy okay one can uh, diagnose this bacteria by serological test by IgM ELISA using the serum sample that is collected from the blood and other is MAC or microscopic agglutination test and this MAC or microscopic agglutination test is the gold standard for diagnosis of leptospirosis. Now the do you know what is Fellin's criteria? This Fellin's criteria is a WHO approved guideline for the diagnosis of leptospirosis. So, it is very important question that what is Fellin's criteria? So, it is who approved guideline for the diagnosis of leptospirosis that uses clinical epidemiological laboratory findings to come to conclusion. And the prevention. As you know that prevention is better than control. So, what is the prevention and control? The best way to prevent leptospirosis is by not swimming or wetting in water that might have animal pee in it. This includes flood waters because the flood water is mixed with a different kinds of water, different, uh, different uh, polluted uh, things. Okay. Other ways you can reduce your risk include taking preventive medication if you are traveling and at high risk of leptospirosis. Ask your provider about taking medication to keep from getting sick. Avoiding animals that could have leptospirosis. 
wearing protective clothing or shoes if you work with or around the animals Where, because this uh, the uh, animals is uh, transmit this disease okay so wearing protective shoes and clothing if you have to be in contact with water or soil that might be contaminated with bacteria protective clothing or food where should be worn by those exposed to contaminated water soil because of their job or recreational activities avoiding water sports and swimming in lakes and river after floods drinking only treated water do not drink water from lakes rivers and canals without boiling it first wearing gloves if you have to touch dead animals don't touch them with your bare hands and wash your hands thoroughly afterwards covering open cuts or wounds with waterproof dressing now the treatment the antibiotics uh, that is used for treatment of leptospirosis are doxycycline or penicillin which should be given early in the course of the disease intravenous antibiotics may be required for persons with more severe symptoms these are all about the leptospirosis if you like this video please like share and subscribe to this channel thank you